Can you just give me a brief description of why they say a miracle happened here? Well, you would, uh, you would need to see what it looked like before. you walk into East Lake, you kind of you kind of park the car and you just like walk in. Like I love Lynx Golf, but this is the first PGA Tour event I ever went to. This is the first time I ever saw a pro swing a golf club. It was Adam Scott and I was like, "Who is that guy?" And they were like, "Adam Scott." And I was like, "Who's that?" And they're like, "He's from Australia." And I was like, "Where's that?" <laughs> Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to East Lake. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's your first time here? Uh, no, I was just telling uh, our friends on YouTube that we, uh, this is the first tournament I ever came to. Oh, really? The cool. Tour Championship. Jim Furyk's here. Awesome. That was yeah, really and I remember we, we came in, yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah. And it was, I remember just being astounded by how uh, effortless all the pro swings were. Uh -huh. And just how well they were all dressed. I remember these two things. Yeah, it was. They make both of them look easy. Charles, really? good to see you. How are you? How are you, sir? You been good? Yeah, I've been good. Yeah. Good, yeah. That's great. So you are technically speaking, you have a role here. You're the, I'm the ambassador. The ambassador. Right. Been here since 1946. Well, actually, before that, 45, but I was a member in 46. So it's been this my second home. I was a junior member at 15 years old. Wow. I think it cost me $60 plus $10 dues. Well, yeah, I'd love to go take a walk around inside and kind right. of uh, see what you've been working on here. Okay. I guess what I'm most interested in this clubhouse is these trophies yeah. and the story behind the person whom they belong to. Bobby Jones' cleat marks are under these rugs. We didn't get rid of them. We just covered them up a little bit. <laughs> so is this where Bobby Jones learned to play golf? No doubt about it. At the age of six, his family were lived in, Con in Canton, Georgia. They were uh, textile people. They, they moved him here uh, when he was six years old. And they had gotten Stuart Maiden as the golf coach uh, pro here at East Lake. And that's who was known as the kingmaker. Hmm. This was your first job in the golf industry. You started out as a caddy. And now you're the head pro. How often does that story happen? I don't think very often. It's something I'm, pr I'm proud of for sure. To go to caddy to head pro in eight years was uh, pretty neat. So what's your favorite match you've played out here before? I guess the best one was the one that I won in 19, uh, let's see, 2003. I won the club championship here against folks with plus two handicaps. And playing all the way back, I was 72 years old. And that was uh, 52 years after I'd won it the first time. <laughs>
can you just give me a brief description of why they say a miracle happened here? Well, you would, uh, you would need to see what it looked like before because this was Atlanta's worst sector of the city. Most crime, the worst, uh, everything. Biggest drug business. And our family foundation just decided we were going to take it on and see if we couldn't. We'd given money to this drug program and all these different things and not seeing much results. And so, well, look, let's focus our money and time on this, the worst of the worst. And if we can, if we can make some inroads there, then maybe, you know, those lessons can be transported. That was our objective from the beginning. And we had been out here underway uh, uh, for probably a year, year and a half before this property came up for sale. The court ordered the sale of it. And uh, somebody said one of the most interested parties was a, was a junk deal. Now, you'd say, well, how could it be a junkyard out here? If you had seen it, you could see how they could be a junkyard. It would have been an improvement over what was there. Not only is this Bobby Jones' first hole-in-one, this is the first that I know of, Ace Cam at Eastlake Golf Club. So Charles, uh, happy to have had you on the first episode of Ace Cam at Eastlake. How many hole-in-ones have you had? Six. Six, and, and have you, uh, how many have you had at Eastlake? Three. I understand Bob Jones only had two. In his lifetime? Yeah. Bob Jones had two hole-in-ones his entire life and one of them was right here? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that something? Wow, you might say, uh, you know, he deserved more. That's right, well, I would think so. <laughs> But maybe he didn't shoot his pen all the time. That's what Hogan said. Wow. <laughs> and you were playing with Palmer and Hogan? At the Masters. And what year was that? 1960. Yeah, and I shot uh, in that practice round the cards in the shop. There. I shot 65 and they shot 72, 73, and 74. <laughs> It's touch if I've ever seen it. Yeah, good. Everything that we do, even with First Tee, yeah, we try to make sure that there's a purpose behind uh, whether it's a practice session, whether it's going out to play. Um, goal setting is a big part of First Tee. But when we talk about goal setting, we also want to make sure that they understand it's golf with a purpose. Uh, we were able to build a high school, put the high school on the back side of the golf course. I would say since 2006, when we had our first graduates, we have 100% graduation rate in the first tier of East Lake. Uh, whether we have a Tiger Woods come out of this program, or whether we have a Jack Nicklaus come out of this program, if we can change the lives of children and change the way they think on a daily basis, and they go to college and you know become a better citizen, I think our job has, has been done. You know, just having access uh, to the community. I believe a lot of people um, that may not be able or have the resources to play over the East Lake Golf Club, you still have an opportunity to be connected to this neighborhood by coming here and playing at uh, Charlie Ace Golf Course at East Lake. Tom Cousins is, is responsible for the revitalization of all of East Lake, hands down. When Tom Cousins came into the neighborhood, I heard the story that, you know, he saw what was really happening and then thought about, you know, if he was one of the, ch one of the children in this neighborhood at that time, you know, what, what would his future be like today? And so he really wanted to make a difference. You know, I really truly believe in my heart that, you know, those exact words that, you know, he really wanted to make a difference because he's that type of guy. Before he actually took on the project, you know, there's a lot of crime in the area. Now the crime is extremely low here uh, in the East Lake community. And if you want to find a nice, safe place to live, it would be the village of East Lake or anywhere in the East Lake community. 
I even live here. So, <laughs> so you know, it's um, it's just a great, great place to live. I mean, you're 38. Uh -huh. You're the head pro at one of the more elite PGA Tour stops. I mean, I can't. I can think of the players. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, we've got a, a lot of history here. Yeah. In the past, and what's so great about having the Tour Championship and being here and right now is all the history that's being made, and I get to witness it all. I mean, how cool is that, right? Right. With Tiger's win right there last year. Right there. Right there. It doesn't get any cooler than that, you know? So I, I consider myself unbelievably lucky to be yeah. here. But it, the great thing is, you know, you and I have this historic piece of property pretty much all to ourselves right now. You know? Birds are chirping. It's quiet. You can't, you can't take that for granted, and I don't. This is the most epic ace game that's ever taken place. 15, East Lake. Wow. You ever seen one here? Uh, I, in my caddy days, yeah, not from this tee box. It was from the member tee, which is a little shorter. Literally, no one can play from this tee box. Where are these divots coming from? These trees right here don't really allow a lot of sunlight to come, and it's a zoysia tee, so these are Tour Championship and East Lake Cup divots. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. So are you saying this could be Tiger Woods' divot right here? I bet you one of these is Tiger Woods' divot. What? Oh, God. I don't think he liked it. Oh, man. Can't hit him much worse than that. And this is essentially where madness occurred, where it all started, like right around like here. Right here up on this hillside. That's where the, the crowd rope was. And the, the story goes that it was just, you know, one lady kind of, screw it, I'm going, right? And she runs and then the next person runs and then you've got 10,000 people going in one direction and there's nothing you could do. So, but it started with one person. You know, I'm, I'm always interested in a golf course that, um, you know, is doing something more than just golf, you know? and. You know, it's not as common as you think, unfortunately, but, you know, one of the things that I kind of find interesting is, like, when you find a course that's managing the way people play golf differently or has a really good junior program or manages the grass differently and creates a scenario that's, like, uh, sustainable for the community that it's in. Right. Basically taking a course that had, what I was told, gasoline being poured on the greens. At some point, yeah. I mean, the... The stuff that happened in the history of the club is crazy, but basically the, the late 60s, the, the neighborhood had kind of taken a downturn. The crime rate was one of the highest in the nation for any zip code. The average age of a grandmother, of a grandmother was 32. Uh, and so when Tom Cousins purchased it, he said, we got to do something. If I was born here, I wouldn't have had a chance. And so he created the East Lake Foundation, purchased the club. Uh, all of our profits, we are a for-profit club, but all of our profits go to the East Lake Foundation, which is the engine that's kind of revitalized this whole area. Today, we, now we've had the first high school graduating class uh, three years ago, and 100% of the kids graduated, and 100% were accepted to college, and 100% went to college, which is, I mean, just mind-blowing compared to what it used to be. I get choked up when I think about my circumstances being as good as they were, and I didn't deserve any of it. Being the family that you're born into is completely arbitrary. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe in karma or reincarnation, so I have a hard time even just like, in some ways, celebrating how great my life is, right? Yeah, I worked hard, whatever, but the opportunities that were given to me just because of the way I'm born are, uh, you know, you, don't, you didn't work for that. There's people around here that don't play golf that benefit from the game of golf, which is, I mean, and, and they know it. You know, they don't know the game, but they know that they're benefiting from this club and this property being here. And our, our slogan is golf with a purpose. You'll see that on some of our merchandise, maybe underneath the logo. But 
that's because when you come and you spend your money out here and you play golf, it's going to a good cause and it's, it's creating a lot of change for the better. Golf did not drive what's happened here. The miracle is is what's happened to a whole class of people that myself and most of us have given up on. Clearly, you know, you have no choice where you're born, what your circumstances are. And kids born into these slums, they're doomed from the beginning. Uh, very few of them make it out uh, without winding up in prison. It was number 69 out of 69 city schools. It's now fourth, there are only three schools. And just by a very few percentage points. Anyway, I mean, it, that's a miracle. Uh, I, I, you know, I would have to agree with them that these little kids with their very poor background, uneducated parent or parents, can perform this well. Let's skip. Yo, let's skip one on the lake. It is a little emotional being back here just because, like I've been saying the entire time, basically this is the first real golf course I ever stepped foot on as a spectator with a ticket, 30 bucks, came, showed up, tour championship, first glimpse of pro golf, and now here we are. Seven years later, different world kind of, right? Looks different. Just hanging out skipping them on the water for fun, watching the sunset over this beautiful Tudor clubhouse that just makes you think of great golf being played. Adventures in Golf is in its fourth season now. We're going to do that again. And uh, the game is still as puzzling as it was in the beginning. The great news is also just as satisfying as that first good shot. <laughs>